This is Twit. My app is basically a response to the state of the world that we're in, especially with all the Facebook stuff and permissions and privacy and stuff like that. Every now and then it's good to have an app that's so you take a time out and look at your phone and look at exactly what you're allowing those apps to do and exactly who's tracking you and what they might be doing with that information. Um, it's called Exodus Privacy. And what Exodus Privacy does is it's a, it's a scanner app that will scan all of the apps on your phone and it will tell you the number of permissions that, that have been asked for and granted by it, what it's exactly doing, and it'll also tell you what data trackers are being used by it, by what services and whatnot. Additionally, some apps have been analyzed by Exodus Privacy's um, uh, service and can give you a full report on the web of that app so you can get all the information that you need. So here, Jason's looking at Discogs, great, great website, great app. Looks as if they have three trackers. They're using Google Crashlytics and Google Firebase Analytics and Flurry, which are all tools to track analytics. And you get 11 permission. You've given 11 permissions. Uh, it can have full network access. It's hard to read on the Skype. Yeah, though. yeah. Uh, but there's it explains, 11 of them. <laughs> yeah, control control vibration takes pictures and videos. It tells you everything that uh, this app has permissions for. What what uh, what you've allowed it to do. Um, so the combination of the per permissions is great because a lot of times you just say yes, 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 and be and like what did I allow that to do? And if I've got if I've got some lightweight app that I think you know doesn't need a lot of permissions and turns out it's accessing my text messages, that might be a a, a cause of, for alarm for you. And you might want to look at whether you want to use that app. Um, if you look at like for example, if you look at um, go to just go to ha Hangouts since that's a known one. Um, and up on the top, you'll see that there is a report by uh, Exodus Privacy. So if you tap on that link, it will go to the web page with the report on that app. And it gives you a little more information about the APK, about the creator, the number of downloads, all that sort of stuff, as well as its uh, secure fingerprint and all that fun stuff. So if you really, really want to go deep on the apps that are on your phone and know exactly what they, what permissions they have and exactly how they're being tracked, um, this is a great way to, to do that, to get uh, insight to that. So it's called Exodus Privacy. It's free in the Google Play Store. Um, it is very interesting. Um, and uh, su you know, surprise, surprise, their website uh, is exodusprivacy.eu.org. So uh, it's, <laughs> I'm not surprised that someone in the EU is worried about uh, you know kind of playing that uh, uh, watch you know uh, watch watchdog, watchdog on apps in terms of what they're doing. Yeah, exactly. Does it scan um, itself? That's a good, uh, that's a good question. A recursive loop there. Yes. Isn't it? it wasn't my question. It's somebody in the chat room. And it's, it's a good point, right? Hearthstone, eight trackers, 17 permissions. Yeah. Um, you, you might be surprised how much of these trackers are embedded into the apps. Let's see here. Is Exodus, uh, Exodus Privacy, zero yep. trackers, two permissions, full network access, and view network connection. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's talking yeah. to China. Awesome. <laughs> So you can find, so you can find Always out. jump right to China. <laughs> uh, <laughs> duck, duck, go. Four permissions, no trackers. Well, that's good. Uh, great app. It's called Exodus yeah. Privacy.